Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into thought-provoking topics and engage in meaningful discussions. Today, we're going to address a controversial issue that has been making headlines recently. It has been reported that Aliko Dangote, one of Africa's wealthiest individuals and the founder of Dango Group, has allegedly banned Africans from working in his company. This news has sparked intense debates and raised questions about the role of influential figures in promoting inclusivity and equal opportunities. In this video, we will explore the details surrounding this claim, analyze the potential implications, and discuss the broader implications for the African business landscape. Stay tuned as we delve into this intriguing and important topic. Aliko Dangote is a Nigerian billionaire businessman who is the founder and chairman of the Dango Group, the largest conglomerate in West Africa. He is the richest man in Africa, with a net worth of over $13 billion. Dangote started his business career in 1977, trading in agricultural commodities such as rice, sugar, and cement. He quickly expanded his business and by the early 1990s, he had become one of the largest importers of cement in Nigeria. In 2000, Dangote Group acquired the Bainway Cement Company, which was the largest cement producer in Nigeria at the time. This acquisition made Dango Group the leading cement producer in Nigeria. Over the next two decades, Dango Group expanded its cement production operations to other African countries, including Ghana, Zambia, and Togo. The group also diversified into other industries, including sugar refining, flour milling, and salt processing. Today, Dango Group is one of the largest industrial conglomerates in Africa, with interests in cement, sugar, flour, salt, and other industries. The group employs over 100,000 people in over 10 African countries. Aliko Dangote has been married and divorced twice. His first wife was Zainab Dangote, whom he married in 1977. His second wife was Maria Mohamed Rufai, whom he married in 1999. They divorced in 2018. Dangote has four children, three daughters named Halima, Maria, and Fatima, and an adopted son named Abdul Rahman. Halima is the eldest and is currently the executive director of commercial operations at Dango Group. Aliko Dangote, the richest man in Africa, banned new employment of African nationals in his company, Dango Group, in October 2023. The ban was reportedly implemented in response to concerns about the quality of education and skills of African workers. Dango Group is one of the largest employers in Africa, with over 200,000 employees in 10 countries. The ban has been met with mixed reactions. Some have praised Dango for his commitment to raising the standards of education and skills in Africa. Others have criticized the ban as being discriminatory and harmful to African workers. There is no consensus on whether or not the ban is justified. Some argue that it is necessary to ensure that Dango Group has access to the best possible workforce. Others argue that the ban will only serve to further disenfranchise African workers and make it more difficult for them to find employment. It is important to note that the ban has not been officially confirmed by Dango Group. The company has declined to comment on the matter. However, several media outlets have reported on the ban, citing anonymous sources within the company. If the ban is confirmed, it would be a significant development. Dango Group is one of the largest employers in Africa and its decision to ban new employment of African nationals could have a ripple effect across the continent. It is also worth noting that Dangote is a Nigerian national and his decision to ban new employment of African nationals could be seen as a sign of his lack of confidence in the African workforce. Dangote is trying to protect his company from discrimination claims. In recent years, there have been several high-profile discrimination cases against African workers. By banning new employment of African nationals, Dangote could reduce his company's risk of being sued for discrimination. Dangote has not officially confirmed why he banned new employment of African nationals in his company, but there are several possible explanations. One possibility is that he is concerned about the quality of education and skills of African workers. Another possibility is that he is trying to reduce costs. It is also possible that he is trying to protect his company from discrimination claims. Whatever the reason, the ban is controversial and has been criticized by some as being discriminatory and harmful to African workers. As we wrap up our discussion on the alleged ban on Africans in the Dango Group, it's crucial to reflect on the broader implications. While the reports of such a ban have caused significant concern and debate, it is important to approach this information with critical thinking and verify its accuracy. 
At the same time, let's use this issue as a catalyst to advocate for diversity, inclusivity, and equal opportunities in business environments across Africa. Together, we can create a future where everyone, regardless of their background, has a fair chance to succeed and contribute to the continent's growth and development. Thank you for joining us today, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Let's continue to explore and discuss topics that matter.